Hello and welcome. The aim of this presentation is to get new online and distance learners at the university started in accessing online library resources. There are many routes into online resources. This presentation illustrates a few key routes, but you may also find alternatives that fit your workflow better. Here's a list of the topics that we'll cover. First, an overview of how to access resources that the library buys for you. The most important thing to have ready is your Ease login. Now, let's pretend that this is your laptop and you live approximately here on the globe. You want to access a journal and it's published online on Highwire or some other publisher server on the other side of the world. When you try to access the journal directly, you often hit a login screen that will not accept your Ease login or a paywall asking you to pay to download an article. However, when you go via the links on your course web pages, or if you go via the library website, you are routed through a proxy server and allowed to log in with your Ease account and you're given access. Of course, the library doesn't buy access to everything that is published. No single library could. So later on in this presentation, I'll describe steps to take if you run into the situation of not getting access to a resource that you need. One thing that you could do to improve access to resources is to set up a connection to the university's virtual private network, or VPN. This has the effect of making your computer look as though it's on the university network and could lead to more seamless access to resources. This is not essential but it may be useful to you. The URL on this page will give you detailed instructions of how to set up the VPN. Many courses have links to readings embedded in the course web pages or virtual learning environments. The way the links are presented will vary from course to course, but in general, you should be able to click through to a resource where a link is provided. The links usually use the library's proxy server that I mentioned earlier. Often, you are given a reference to text without links, and these next sections will cover how to get access to those readings. You've probably already used MyEd to access email and look at matriculation information. There's a tab for library tools here too. The library also has a website. Whether you go through MyEd or via the library website, you may find it useful to bookmark a few of the pages that you use the most. Discover Red is the place to start searching the library's collections. Bear in mind that Discover Red searches all kinds of different resources, from printed book titles to electronic journal articles to literature databases, so it's worth learning how to refine your searches. Bear in mind also that the library does not necessarily own the full text of everything that you will find listed in DiscoverEd. If you log in with your Ease account, you will get more options and links. Next, let's do a few simple searches together to see how best to take advantage of the library holdings as an online or distance learner. Let's say you've been tasked with finding this ebook in the library. The author is Greenhall, the title is How to Read a Paper, The Basics of Evidence-Based Medicine. It's the fifth edition. It was published in 2014 by BMJ Books. In my ad, into the Discover Ed search box, I'm typing the title and clicking search. Now, because we've done a fairly simple search, we've got a huge number of results. I'll show you later how to refine your search. The second result looks good and we can see that there are seven editions or versions. In that list of seven, we see print and online books. To see just the online books, click full text online. And we limit our results to two ebook versions of this title, the latest editions. To view online, click on the view online tab and then follow the link to full text. Each ebook provider presents their resources in a slightly different way and allows you to print or download various amounts of text. In this case, I'm going to select to view online 
and you can see the list of chapters over at the left. You can click on the section that you wish to read online. Next, let's say you've been given this reference to an article and you'd like to see if you can get it through the library from an e-journal. Just to explain, the authors of this paper are Sosu, McWilliam and Gray. It was published in 2008. The article title is The Complexities of Teachers' Commitment to Environmental Education, a Mixed Methods Approach. The journal it was published in is called The Journal of Mixed Methods Research, and it was published in Volume 2, Issue 2, pages 169 to 189. So going back to Discover Ed, this time let's use the advanced search. I'm replacing our previous search with our article title, just copying and pasting that in. I'm selecting to search in the title words, and I'm setting the material type to be articles. I'm hitting the search button, and you can see that we get one matching result with our article title. It's available online, so I'm going to click where it says view online. And then similar to what we saw with the book, I'm following the links to view full text. This takes us straight through to the article at the publisher's website. Here we see an HTML version of the abstract, and we can click to download the PDF version of the full article. You might find it convenient to set Google Scholar to find our full text holdings. Go into Settings, Library Links, search for Edinburgh, and select University of Edinburgh from the libraries listed. Click Save, and then when you search for an article title, or indeed any topic, you'll see links to find it at Edinburgh for those results where we have full text online. That takes you through Discover Ed. Sometimes you get no results for your article title search, or no results that lead you to the full text online. And it may be that we only hold the print in the library. To check on print holdings, we need to search by the journal title instead. In the case of the reference here, the article was published in a journal called Scottish Forestry. Going back to Discover Ed, I type in Scottish Forestry, select to have those words found in the title, and choose material type, Journals. On clicking the search button, I'm presented with search results that have those words in the journal title. The top result looks most relevant to see which volumes we have, click Find it in the library and make sure we have the volume you need. To request a scan of the article, click on the Details tab and follow the link to Library Annex Scan Request. This takes you to our interlibrary loan system. The first time you use Iliad, you need to click on First Time Users, read the registration requirements, and create your own login. Once you've got your own login, use it to access the interlibrary loan service. When you're logged in, you can see a list of material types at the left. Choose the type most relevant to you, fill in the details, and submit your request. When the request is ready to download, you'll receive an email. Just to summarise, because it is a bit complicated, you can request scans from the library's print holdings, but because of copyright laws, we can only scan for you a maximum of one chapter per book or one journal article per issue. Scans from our print holdings are free of charge and you'll get an email to tell you when the scan is ready to download. At this time, it is not possible to have the library post a book to you in the mail. If the library doesn't subscribe to a journal with an article that you need, or if we don't have the book with the chapter that you need, then there are two things to know about. 
interlibrary loans, and request a book, both of which you can see listed in the library resource links in my ed. If the library doesn't subscribe to the journal with an article that you need, or if we don't have the book with the chapter that you need, then you can use the interlibrary loan service to request a scan from external libraries. We have reciprocal arrangements with external libraries because no single library can have everything. When you register for the Interlibrary Loan Service on ILLiad, it's important that you email the Interlibrary Loans team to let them know that you will need to have things sent to you electronically and not as photocopies. In the checklist slide at the end of this presentation, I've put in the email address to contact that team. At present, as a postgraduate student, you can request up to 30 interlibrary loan scans per academic year at no charge. If you go over the allocation of 30 external interlibrary loan requests, then that's no problem, it's just that there will be a fee of £5 per request until the new academic year starts. And with the new academic year, you will get a new allocation of 30 free interlibrary loan requests. Again, it's only possible to request electronic copies. We cannot send books loaned from other libraries to you in the mail. Another thing you can do if we don't have a book you need is to recommend that the library purchase it. You can find links to request a book to make your recommendation on MyEd or on the library website. Just fill in the details of the book you need and submit the request. By default, we'll try to buy an electronic version of the book. If it's only available in print, then that's the version that we'll get. Here is a summary list of things to do to make sure you're ready to use the library. We recommend that you do all of these things early on so that when you're very busy with coursework and have submission deadlines coming, then you won't need to spend time working out how to do these basic things. We hope that's helpful information for getting started with using the library online. But if you run into problems or would like some expert advice, here are a few places to go for help. So good luck and enjoy your course.